Thank you for joining us. I'm Aaron Talegian, joined by Fred J. Robledo. Freddie, the 2016 season has arrived, <laughs> and it's going to arrive in a very big Man. way on Thursday night at Covina District Field, um, Charter Oak yeah. against Northview. I, I don't know if you could like script a better way to start the season. These two right. needed to happen rivals <laughs> um, are going to finally play each other, and uh, and and it's it, it's an intriguing and, matchup. And, and it's one of those games I think we've kind of talked all summer that we kind of saw coming because Northview they've got a great returning team. You know they've got Stephen right. Comstock. I think uh, you know last year he threw for twenty six hundred yards, thirty one touchdowns, and also ran for a thousand yards and nineteen touchdowns. And I just think a guy like that, Aram, you know, you're coming off his freshman now, his sophomore year with those kind of numbers. It reminds me of like Stephen Rivera when he was a you know he was a four year player. He right. had those first two years, and those last two years were just unbelievable. So I'm expecting something like this uh, from Comstock, and they've got Antoine Ayers, another right. flashy uh, receiver guy, a combo back kind of guy. Um, but, th but then you're going against Charter Oak, a team that went to the Central Division Championship last year. Both these teams went undefeated in the league. The big thing is, for Northview, this is a pretty big step up in class. When you look at their, their roster last year, uh, I mean, with their schedule last year, I'm sorry, they had that loss to Montebello. Was it Montebello that they lost in a shootout? Um, and they lost later in the year uh, to Pomona in a shootout in the playoffs. The playoffs. When, they, and, and when they play these really good teams, they've given up a lot of points. That's a little bit of my concern going into this game, but I think they're going to be able to score. Right, um, and the guy you didn't mention, Freddie, Kevin Thomas, the running back transfer from West Covina. Right. We still don't know his status. We're hoping to find out this so week he's if he's going to be eligible. Because if he is eligible, now you're talking about Comstock, Ayers, Thomas, outstanding trio yeah. of, of skill players. Yeah. When you talk about Charter Oak, though, you're, you're replacing Zion Eccles. You're replacing Cam Brown, the quarterback. Um, but you do have Brian Castile, the Arizona commit, back at receiver. Yeah. And he's probably going to get the ball in a bunch of other different ways. And finally, the unveiling of Brett Clemenson, yeah, how the good quarterback. Is Clemenson? That's, well, the, that's the whole key to me. Right. Because they've got some receivers. They've always been able to throw the ball. They've got the receiver, like yeah. you said, in Castile. Is that guy going to be able to get him the ball? It's a first game. Right. That's why, you know, it's, it's one of those games that's kind of it's intriguing because of that. Right. What, by have, you all heard accounts, about him? what have you heard about him? Yeah, by all accounts, he's, he's kicking butt, really, this summer. Um, and he was supposed to be, you know, a, a real stud. You yeah. know, this is a guy that was the quarterback of their freshman team that went 10-0. and But then he got injured during his sophomore year. He didn't beat out Cam Brown for the QB job that year. Missed all of his junior year. Now he's back for his senior. He's a dual threat. Yeah. I think Clemenson wants to show Comstock and maybe Aaron area fans that there's yeah. not just one dual threat quarterback on the field. Yeah. This is a heck of a matchup. You know, I know earlier this summer you said, I, I think you thought Northview's going to win this game. Yeah. Is that right? Um, and I've taken a lot this of time for that. Yeah, too. you have. But on the know, blog and, and, and running into people that I talk to that know a lot of football these are some you know some assistant coaches yeah people who go to a lot of spring games and, and stuff they're saying look you know Northview's going to be good but they're not ready for this they're not ready for the athleticism of a charter oak they're right. just not you look at what charter oak played last year the type of teams in non-league it's still a different it's, it's a different class of teams it's a big step up for Northview but they're getting charter oak when you want to get them yeah with a bunch of new faces yeah. in week zero with a new this quarterback is, yeah. It, right. That, that hasn't played meanwhile, they long. have experience yeah. at those skill spots. The question I yeah. have, Freddie, is kind of what you brought up. 1 through 11, how does Northview stack yeah. up to Charter Oak? We know Comstock and Ayers and, and Thomas, if he plays, will get theirs. But what about guys 5 through 11 yeah. on the roster or, at, excuse me, like in the starting lineup on the field? What do they do? Yeah. So that's the big question. I think Charter Oak has more quality, kind of like when Charter Oak right. plays Bishop Amat, right. top to bottom. Right. They may have, you know, they have you can, the better you can, you depth. Can talk about the, you can talk about those three or four skill level players, but it's, it's what they have after right. that that makes a big difference. Right. So I'm picking Charter Oak in this game. Um, are you going to stick with North? I'm, I'm going to stick with my guns, and, I, and you know, earlier in the year I felt a little bit more confident with Northview. I'm not as, as confident now. But I really think this is going to be the unveiling. I mean, Stephen Comstock's been great the last couple of years, and they've got guys. I just think he's taking that next level. And I love, love quarterbacks who can run and throw the ball. And I just think he's poised by now. My big concern, like I told you, is defensively, can they stop Charter Oak? And this becomes one of those games where they're trying to match them score for score. It's going to be tough. Their defense it's going to be is, exciting, though. Yeah, their defense <laughs> is going to have to do enough to win this game for Northview. But I think they're going to be able to score. I like it really, really close. 
I'm taking Northview in a shootout. Yeah, all right, well, there you go. We disagree. That's, that's how no, we should start the season, off. right? Freddie and I disagree. It's almost like- Come on, Mike, don't let me down here. Okay, so Freddie's got Northview, I've got Charter Oak. You've got to get out to the game on Thursday night, Covina District Field, 7 p.m. There's nothing else going on. The whole valley should be there. Great way to start the season. We'll see you out there.